We got a little bit of snow last night. It wasn't any six inches, however. And it wasn't exactly what you'd call a thrilling sleigh ride. But I don't have a sleigh anyway. So I always promised her a little tractor ride on her sled. And since she's busy doing so much homework these days and going through a lot of stress, working and doing homework at the same time, we decided to have some fun outside. So here we go. After all, what better way is there to break in an engine to make it to the 50 hour mark before you work it hard? And I want to get there and put some synthetic oil in anyway. So at this point, or I should say at the end of the day, we got to 33 hours. And I was really hoping to get to 50 by uh, the end of uh, winter here. But there's not a lot of snow coming, so I don't know how much more plowing we're going to be able to do. Um, but, uh, Activities like this help put in some hours, so that's what we're doing. Since we got such a small amount of snow, I don't think the grass is going to take a whole lot more of this. Yes, it's the most fun you can have with your snow pants on. I don't know about you, but I think I've seen uh, entirely enough of this. So now I think it's time for something that's completely different. Yes, you guessed it. Time for Bucket Queen Part 2.
And now it's time to test out my new ballast system. Remember, this new system offers an additional 100 pounds. But currently, I do not have any weight back there, other than the special 100 pounds that you can see here. The 200 pound auxiliary weights obviously are not on at the moment. What I did notice with a weight off the front and additional weight in back is that I was able to take it out of four wheel drive which is typically required running around the snow and ice. It's pretty light in the back without any additional weight. A nice little ending here, but the wind was so bad. Wish everybody a happy Easter. Happy Easter!